Guys, welcome back to the channel. Get some sun with Paz. We are in sunny Gumbit. It's not sunny now because it's coming evening and I'm absolutely hank marvin. I'm starving. And the Jules moisture is as well, ain't you, Jules? Definitely. It is, definitely. That might be the only words you get out of her tonight as well. Anyway, I'm starving. So we're going to go off. We're going to follow in Gumbit Dragon because you guys asked me to go and film Gumbit Dragon in Gumbit. It wouldn't be in Bodrum because it's called Gumbit Dragon. Anyway, stop messing about. Let's go. Yes, sir, folks, here we are. We're outside parking my as, which is the hotel that we're stopping in. In fact, what we'll do, we'll give you a quick pan round and have a look at the frontage. So, like a bit of frontage, doesn't they? So, this is parking my as. This is the hotel that we're actually stopping in at the minute. Fantastic hotel. There is going to be a review coming and a walkthrough. This is Cool Breeze right next door to it. It was in there earlier. Went in for one, came out with several. Right and over here, we've got all the. Uh, Yes, we've seen Rachel and Sid, some uh, subscribers. Well, they are now, anyway. We've got all your cloud shops over here as well, absolutely manic, full of cloud shops. So, we're going to go and find Gumbit Dragon. Yes, yeah, so we're just outside Just Chill and Atlantis Bar. So, what we're going to do is walk up towards Bar Street. Now, I think, um, I think Gumbit Dragon actually does a, a mixture of all sorts of things. Um, I fancy a bit of Chinese personally, what do you fancy, apart from me? Well, is there anything in comparison to you, dear? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Since we've come to Turkey, everybody seems to know us. So, I think I, I might go for Chinese, but we'll have a look at the menu. Uh, you alright? We'll have a look at the menu. No, not yet, not yet. Everybody tries to pull you into the clothes shops to see if you want to buy some more shirts, even though I spent 65 quid on them earlier. Um, well, yeah. Let's pass over. Let's cross over the road without getting knocked down. Yes, so guys, we've literally just come out of parking my eyes, which is literally just round the corner, just round here, and then we've come around, and we've seen Elvis as well. You alright, Elvis? Right. All good, all good. Go on then, see in a bit. And we've got Gumbat Dragon just on the left hand side, so it is only round the corner from parking my eyes. Hello, Hello you alright? That's us. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. What's your name? Oh, I know your name, you forget my name. I don't know, I ain't no. met you yet. Mahmoud. 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 Nice Mahmoud. to meet you, nice to Is meet you. Earlier? Yeah, oh. earlier we speak with you. Is dressed oh, differently? Changed. You're dressed differently, you've changed. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, let's go and get Facebook. some food. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You do Facebook friends. Yeah, okay. Facebook friend. I recommend in some uh, your website and it's like yeah. thank you very much thank you very much right then guys let's get in there and do some food right then folks so Julie Moss is sitting down at this table here right by the entrance I picked some places to sit don't you come on let's get me bummed down I am very happy to do right. this police my so it's come over already and he's already trying to get me on the liquid diet <laughs> that'll do it that's, that's, that's what I like you know I that's what I like famous man as well you know <laughs> I am famous in... Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger is my uh, uncle. Cousin? Cousin, yeah. Yes. Vista, baby. Arnold Schwarzenegger's cousin. Right, um, guys, stop messing about. Let's have I'll a look at the menu. Vodka and Diet Coke, please. Oh, yeah, Julie's on the vodka already. Yeah. The absolute vodka. What? Absolute vodka. Absolute vodka. Yeah. Really, I ought to get Julie interview, I don't know. We'll sort that out in a minute. I'm more important. <laughs> um, I'll have an FS, please. Yeah, got to be FS in it. Alright then guys, what we're going to do, we'll give you a look at the menu, we'll show you around the place as well, and then we're going to wait for the food to come out. Alright then folks, we've got the Julie Moisture in shot as well. We're going to run you through the menu now, and we've got two different ones, you've got the main one and you've got the appetizer one as well. Let's run you through the appetizer one first, see what the price is like, see what they've got to offer. So we start off with the salads and hot appetizers, 190 lira. Now just remember, 200 lira is roughly five pounds. So have a look at the prices and I'll leave you to work it out. I might, if I remember in the edit, I might actually put the, um, the prices of some of these below. Just so you get the general idea. Got sushi down here, I might get some of these sushi rolls, I like sushi. What do they call it? Maki rolls? 
First time I've heard it called Mackey Rolls. Let's turn the menu over. He's got more sushi up here. Might go in for some of these, I do like sushi. So you get six pieces for 370 lira. Might go for that actually. And then you get a selection, 16 pieces. 30 pieces for 1,135 lira. And then you get a set through 42 pieces. Right guys, the most important bit of the meal is here. The FS, the liquid starter. And then the lovely chap over here. How are we doing? We're going to have some of these, uh, I'm going to start with these tiger rolls, yeah. So you get six pieces for 370 lira. And then Julie's going to order. I'll have some chicken satay, please. Chicken satay. Chicken satay. Okay. Don't you look beautiful, guys? Oh. You order uh, later on? Yeah, we'll order the main course in a moment when yeah, we've yeah. had a look. So. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Let's get in for some of this uh, starter. <laughs> yes, folks, so here we go. Back on the FS yet again. That's the perfect starter. And to be fair, I've got to admit, I'm getting quite a bit of a liking to this stuff. I've never really tried lager before, have I? Oh, no. I, I might have to take my sunglasses off in a minute because I can't actually see you. <laughs> it's going dark. Anyway, chins up. Oh, that's beautiful. I've got to admit that, folks. We've been out all day. What time did we leave the hotel? About 10 o'clock. Oh no, it's after that. It's probably about five past ten. <laughs> you might have to speak up because I've got the mic on me. I might have to put the mic between us in a minute. It was after ten o'clock. It might have been about five past ten. Oh. No, it was probably about eleven o'clock-ish. Yeah, it might have been about eleven-ish, something like that. Now, we had breakfast at the hotel. Like I said earlier, I see if you can call it breakfast because I ended up with chips, onion rings and some slices of ham. Because I've got to admit, there was nothing there that I fancied. You couldn't make up a full English because there was no sausages, there was no bacon. You remember the, you're in Turkey, but if you go to any other restaurants around here, they'll do you a full English, but it seems like the hotels don't have anything to do a full English with. I think, I think um, what it is, what we were told earlier, is because um, of Turkey being a Muslim country and a lot of um, Turkish people go to the hotels, they can't serve the bacon and the sausage and that sort of thing because it offends them. So it's just respecting the culture of the country. There you go, you learn something every day, didn't you, folks? That's what we learned today. So, I read my love letter. Hello? Are you ready for the main course? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you, you decided me? what you're having for Oh, hang on, no, I ain't even looked at menu yet. I um, know what I'm having. What are you having? I'm going for the crispy duck with chilli sauce. Ooh. Ooh. Good, taking back this one. Plum sauce, hoisin sauce, pancake together, very nice, better than chili then. sauce. Yeah. It's better. Yeah, I'll go with your suggestion. No, no, <laughs> just explain for you which one you like, I bring for you. I'll no come back problem. to you in a minute because I ain't even looked at the menu yet. I ain't even sure you folks are mine. You have a crispy duck with chili sauce. This one? Yeah. Not organised, I'm just like this. Mild chili sauce, it's mild, not hot. Mild. Right then, guys, Julie's just sparked up a cigarette, so I've took her off the camera. And we're going to have a look at the menu. I've already ordered from it, don't get me wrong. I'm not very organised in this vlog. Um, yeah, so I've gone for crispy duck with chilli sauce and some egg fried rice. And Julie's gone for the Beijing duck. Uh, and she's sharing some egg fried rice. Are you getting it separate or are you sharing one? I don't really know. Mm. Anyway, come on, guys. Have a look at the menu. Come here. Come here. Let me unclip you. Here we are then, guys. Here's the menu. Let's have a look. At, have a look at the prices. There's your soft drinks. Just pause the menu. Pause. Pause the menu. Pause the video. If there's any prices you okay. want to see. There's local drinks. There's your cocktails. Mine on there would be my favourite one. Would be the Long Island iced tea. And lethal. Julie's trying. Julie's trying to use chocks. Chopsticks on prawn crackers. <laughs> I think the only thing that's crackers there is, is the Jules Moister. Any sensible person just picks them up with the fingers in the first place, don't they? Anyway, guys, come on. Carry on looking at this menu. So you've got some set menus here as well. So, for instance, you get chicken mushroom soup, prawn crackers, chicken with curry, chicken with uh, fried rice, 
695 lira. Now these tend to be like the usual prices you see around Gumbess at the minute. Just remember everything has gone up in price simply for the fact that inflation has gone up. So here's your prices of the beef Dana. It's actually beef, I think they call it Dana over in Turkey. The sizzling dishes, duck dishes which we've just ordered, Beijing duck and crispy duck with chilli sauce. Seafood, chow mein, it's sent the page over. We've got some more, now we've got international foods as well. Have a look down there. Just pause it here on free will if you spot anything you like and you uh, want to see the price of it. And you've got chicken, and here's your steaks. You can have fillet steak, 750 lira. T-bone steak, big T-bone steak. It's 870 lira. That's not too bad for a T-bone steak. Somebody's bound to tell me in the comments that uh, I probably wouldn't pay that much. But if you're on holiday and you want to treat yourself, why not? You only live once. Spend it because your car take it with you. There we go, and then Indian foods as well. This is some of my favourite foods. I might have to come back and try some of this, you know. I do like my Indian food. Tikka masala, it's not hot enough for me. Korma, don't like korma because I don't like uh, coconut in me in my curry. Then Madras is more my style. Somebody shouting Paz. Some. Hello. Hello. Hang on. Bear with me, bear with me. There we go. Right, somebody's shouting me from behind. Let's go and meet him. Somebody's shouting Paz behind me. Let's go and have a look. Come with me. Hello, Paz. How are you doing? You all right? I've been for some time, yeah. Right, hang on a second. I'm going to switch the camera around. Just grub. Just? Just grub. Just grub? Just grub. Um, and just, just in grub. Yeah. Um, we'd all love a full English breakfast and uh, lovely um, what's it as well. We have um, a lovely roast dinner as well, 50,000 followers. Okay. Yeah, and we see your your video Yeah. Um, following me. I saw you come in and I said to you, we're really on the same date as you. Lovely jubbly. We, we just had the uh, mixed grill, beautiful. And a breakfast this morning, for five quid, five English pound, can't fault it, cup of tea, everything, the whole lot. Just grub? Just Wait, grub. Is that around here? No, here. Oh. I'm me. I'm on. Oh, I'm, right. I'm the blogger as well. Okay, 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 I'm okay. On there as well. I see you from walking in. Just grub, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to subscribe to your channel. Please do, yeah. <laughs> I'll have a look in a bit. Fantastic. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Enjoy your holiday. Hey, have you enjoyed your food? Beautiful. Absolutely good. I'm coming in for my birthday. Books in Do you recommend the place? Very much so. Very brilliant, much so. brilliant. brilliant. What's, your, what's your name? My, no, um, my normal name is Carl. Yeah. I go by the name of Just, Just Grub. Grub. So, Just Grub. find this fella on YouTube Just and subscribe Grub. to his channel. I'm not on Just YouTube, Grub. It's not on YouTube, it's Facebook. Oh, Facebook, yeah, on Facebook. Facebook. Find him on Facebook. Right. Right. Nice Thank to you. meet you. What's, you. what's your name? I'm Tracy. Tracy, nice to meet you as well, Tracy. Yeah. Right. Good to see you coming in. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Keep following Paz, he recommends all the places. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Catch up with you in a bit. Nice Thank you. Right, Julie's looking. Now he's on Facebook, he ain't got a channel, he's on Facebook. Uh, he's just on Facebook? He's just vlogging on Facebook. No. Right, and folks, I've sat it back down now. That's a nice gentleman behind me, and he follows me on, uh, on, on YouTube. So should you hit the bell for notifications, hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> I've got to get that in there. Anyway, Julie started eating this satay without us. Come and have a look. So there we are guys, we've got the prawn crackers, I'll call them prawn crackers, prawn crackers, and she's got this chicken satay, let's just pan the camera down so you can see, you can see it. Is it nice Jules? It is nice, is yeah. It? Have a look at that then. Wi-Fi password. Internet, yeah? Yeah. Julie's just getting the Wi-Fi password. Now, folks, if you're thinking of coming out to Turkey, and I'm not sponsored in any way by this company, um, last time we was here, we struggled. We got Wi-Fi, but obviously I couldn't do any live streams and that, so I thought, well, this time I'd fancy a bit of data. Um, so I got it myself, a Turkish eSIM. Now, 
The way that you do this is I found one through a place called Maya. So I just Googled Turkish Easing UK um, and it came up with a place called Maya. So I got on there and it cost me £8.10. It's originally £9 for 10 gigabytes of data over five days. Now, what I did is I put it in the basket, but then I thought, well, let's go and have a look at some other places. In the meantime, they emailed me a special offer, 10% off, and they did the same package for £8.10. So if you do that, get it in the basket, come away from the website, give it a few minutes, have a look at your emails, and then you should have 10% off it. So Maya, Turkey season, 10 gigabytes for five days, is costing £8.10. Don't use your UK SIM card out in Turkey because it will cost you an absolute arm and a leg. Just a little bit of advice for you. Hopefully, it helps. Right, guys, look at this sizzling away. That looks absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, it's not mine. Right then folks, whilst I've been around here doing a bit of B-roll for you and showing you around the place, my starter's come out, have a look at this, it's looking absolutely smacking, smacking, I know what I mean, have a look, yes folks, looks like that's the tiger roll, that looks absolutely busting. And you got the wasabi paste as well. I love that stuff. Nice and hot in your mouth. What you do is you get your chopsticks like this, right? You drop one like that. <laughs> and then you stab it in the middle like that. Pick it up, stuff it in your mouth. Oh, that's nice. It's warm, I didn't expect it to be warm. We're going to use the proper tool for it. <laughs> There we go. I'm making a right mess of this, I know. Why did you start with the one in the middle? Oh, I got a clue. <laughs> it's just green satire, is nice. Oh, have a look at that. I made a right mess of that, I don't know. Right. Dip it in the sauce. Oh. Got something crunchy in the middle of it. The chicken satire is nice. Look like. Good. I do like my sushi. It's not raw fish. It's rice with vegetables in it. And something crunchy. You chop it in the middle like that. It's got something holding it together. I can't cut it without making a mess of it, to be fair. So we're going to go for some of that. Get the sauce in there as well. That's like a soy sauce. Mmm. Lovely. And then you got wasabi paste. Now, I put a lot on there, that's going to burn. Wasabi paste is this green stuff that I show you. So, it's green, it's hot, it tastes a bit like mustard. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of paste. Yeah. Imagine having a spoonful of mustard when you've got that much on your food. Yeah. That's what we'll do. I'm making a right mess of these. I'm going to pick one up. Show you. Oh, there you go. Look, I don't see sure what that is in the middle of it. Some cream on the top. I think it's avocado on there. Rice, it's really nice. But I'm making a right dog meal of it.
I'll eat this. I'll wait for the main meal to come out. I'll come back to you. I don't know about you. I'm not eating prawn crackers, I can't stop. Very addictive. Mm. I've got nothing to dip into. Oh, I have. We've only got sauce as well. Folks, you can get a full English breakfast or an Irish breakfast as well for a fiver. Might have to come and try that, eh, to be fair. Orange beans, bacon, pork sausages, lovely jubbler. Right, folks, the food is here. Have a look at this. This looks absolutely, you know what I'm going to say? Banging. So we've got Julie's Beijing duck here. Share. And then we've got some sweet chilli here. Share? <laughs> Looks like we're going to share then. And then we've got the egg fried rush. I don't know about share. Julie's already the having it. Are... Oh, and we've got pancakes as well. Well, the pancakes are probably mine, not yours. So the pancakes stay nice and hot in this basket. And we're gonna uh, get some of this duck in here now. And I'm, I'm gonna probably make a proper mess out of this as well. Some of this sweet chili duck. Have a look at this. Look at that. Get it in there. I'm gonna wrap it up like this. Don't know if I'm doing this right. Not a clue. And try not to get it all down myself. Say love it. Nice table for you. Mm. She's crispy, isn't it? Nice. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, we've seen this place advertised on Facebook quite a lot, haven't we? And we said yeah. it is one place that we will definitely come to. And I'm glad we did. A lot of people asked us to come here to film it. And the guys on the uh, Facebook page asked us we're quite welcome to come and do it. We'll come down and meet them. But, uh, earlier on in the day when we were doing the, the walkabout, which I haven't seen yet. But you might have seen, I don't know yet. Um, and they said, yeah, come down. Come and film it. Um, there you go. It's beautiful. Absolutely. This is lovely. Right then, folks, so we've got Balant here, which is the restaurant owner. He's going to tell you a little bit around about, about the restaurant. 30 years older. 30 four, years old? Yes, first restaurant in Gumbet. International cuisine, Chinese, Indian. Yes, properly, you know, everything is very good. Yeah. Also, uh, my daughter, food engineer. Food engineer, so yes. it's a, yeah. Five years, she's to the university. In Bodrum, Gumbet, never another restaurant, bosses, food engineers. Only here. That's brilliant, folks. That's absolutely yes. brilliant. So guys, come down if you're stopping in Gumbet, come and visit. Yeah. Gumbet Dragon? Gumbet Dragon? Gumbet Dragon. Dragon. Yes. I, keep I, just, I don't know why, I keep seeing the red thing, the, the sign over there, I keep but calling it a red dragon. This is my restaurant before this. My brother, we yeah. are partner, but yeah. I'm separate. I hope uh, name changes. Okay. Normally before here, red dragon. 
Yeah. But my family is yeah, like, separate. My brother taking the name Red Dragon. I, yeah. I'm taking the Gumba Dragon. Oh, brilliant. Well then, yeah. thank you very much for having us. Thank you. Thank I'm you. very happy that you are coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well yeah. then, guys, let's get out to Julie because yes. we, we did have to come in because it started raining a little bit. We're going to get back outside now. Thank come you. on. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so folks, we're going to sit here. We're going to finish off the FS and then we're going to pop up to Cheers Bar and see our friend Ali. Um, I'm going to write the place out to 10 and of course, I'm going to give it a 10 because. The guys are absolutely brilliant here. They couldn't be any friendlier, any more helpful. The food was cracking, absolutely busting. That duck just melted in your mouth and the flavours coming from it was absolutely, it was succulent, it was super, it was beautiful. I can't give it any more. I wish I could give it more than 10 to be honest with you. Folks, I don't know if anybody else has ever been to Gumbet Dragon. If you've not and you're coming to Gumbet, come down and visit the guys at Gumbet Dragon. They are absolutely brilliant, 10 out of 10. I'd give it more if I could. What do you reckon, Jules? Hang on a second, let me just pan you around to Jules. She might speak. What did you think of it, Jules? Lovely, so nice. What was nice about it? Just the flavours and everything. It's just something different, wasn't it? It was, it was nice, nice food, nice service. I have to ask you the question, otherwise you'd ask how much, you just go, yeah. <laughs> nice service, absolutely fantastic food, definitely recommend the place. What would you give it out of 10? 11. 11? You can't give it 11. What would I you can. give it out of 10? On me, I can give it 11. All right, that'll be. Just right, accept English. it and move on. <laughs> so folks, that's a solid 10 out of 10 from both me and Julie's put an extra one and made it 11. You know, it's said you've got to give it out of 10. It's got to give it one extra, extra inch. So just come down and visit the guys if you're in Gumbet. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, we're going to off, get off down to Cheers now. We're going to say hello to Mr. Ali G. Um, you will have seen him on some Thank of my you. other videos. Thank you very much. You'll have seen him on some of the other videos. Um, hopefully, you'll see him in one of the, the vlogs whilst we're out here at the minute. I might try and get him a little, a little clip in the end of here in a moment. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and give me the thumbs up. We need that to spread the channel. Um, can I give a shout out to somebody? Oh, hang on a minute, Julie wants to say something. <laughs> hang on, a... right, let, let me get the camera on you, Jules. Hang on. Just want to give a shout out to Carl from Just Grub. Um, you can find him on YouTube, but he's not very big on YouTube, but he does mainly Facebook. Um, lovely guy, chatting to him and his wife earlier. Um, they follow us, they have subscribed to the channel, um, which you should do as well. Um, and they do a lot of food reviews and they are really nice people. There you are folks, the Julie Moistra has spoken. Yes, follow Carl on Just Grub. Uh, he's on Facebook and he's got a small YouTube channel as well. Uh, and he does food reviews, so get on there and just have a look at Just Grub. Right, so folks, that was Gumbit Dragon in Gumbit. Now, obviously, I didn't film the bill. I forgot to film the bill. But Julie's just told me, Julie's over here. Julie's just told me the bill actually came to an unexpected... 3,450 Turkish Lira. 3,450 Lira. 3, 4, 5, which works out about 86 pounds. 86 pounds. So it's not the cheapest place out there. However, I'm quality. going to have to... I'm still giving it 10 out of 10. I'm sticking by my 10 out of 10. It was quality the food was superb absolutely superb expensive yes but then pretty much everywhere in turkey has gone expensive so what can you do so guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you somewhere else in bodrum and gumbit trap now